Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to the reasons we smile.com or iTunes keyword Dr. Kavitko or the reasons we smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 629. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. In the studio with me is Ms. Stormy Gibson, and uh, we're going to bring her on in just a little bit. She's from the Ohio Wildlife Center. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you'd go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And we're streaming live on Facebook. So, if you were listening last week, I went to the Ohio, Wild, Ohio Wildlife Center, and I was given a tour by uh, Dusty Lombardi and um, Allison Sullivan. And it was really fun. And so on one hand, I feel like we have the cart before the horse. But on the other hand, I think it was neat. It kind of whet my appetite to learn more from, from you, Stormy. So let me just uh, read your bio, okay? Excellent. Okay, so you, were, you became the director in 2008 and currently serves in that capacity, as well as being the assistant executive director. With more than 22 years of experience in wildlife education, animal husbandry, and conservation, she oversees the center's animal sanctuary, pre-release facility, and care of the permanent animal ambassadors and all educational programming and youth camps. She's also a former middle school educator and is state certified in middle school science and math. She has a bachelor's of science degree in zoology from the Ohio State University and a master's in education from Ashland University. She's a member of the Ohio Wildlife Rehabilitators Association, the Natural Wildlife Rehabilitators Association, and the Ohio Odonata Society. She's also an Ohio Division of Natural Resources Certified Aquatic Educator and Facilitator. Her passion is teaching people of all ages about native wildlife and connecting with the community to share the resources and services of the Ohio Wildlife Center. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for getting up and being in the studio. So, and, I've de and, and I forgot to mention, folks, uh, we always do a Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. And so in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. And the question today is going to be about the first question of the day, which is, what is the mission of the Ohio Wildlife Center? So Ohio Wildlife Center's mission is to foster awareness and appreciation of Ohio's native wildlife. And we do that through rehabilitation, education, and wildlife health studies. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So... Uh, one of the things I put in here for the uh, the question, it's going to be which one is not uh, part of the mission. And it's not part of your mission to make pets out of wild, as many wildlife as possible. Absolutely not. Okay. We want to keep wild in the wildlife. So right. make sure that those wild animals stay in the wild. <laughs> right. So remember, folks, that's going to be important if you want to win those flowers. Okay. They do not try to make pets out of these animals. In fact, uh, you do your best to try to keep them from imprinting on humans in fact, have some of the rehabilitation uh, cages, if you will, out in the uh, way out in the back in the wildlife area where they don't even see people, correct? Yeah. So we want to limit the amount of exposure that they have to humans, especially when we have orphans that come in and they're uh, growing up and making, you know, making decisions on how they're going to act in the wild. We want to make them to have the best ability and give them the best chance of survival once we release them. Awesome. So they uh, end up uh, being uh, uh, not afraid of humans is not a good thing. Yeah. And, you know, we have several animals in our education facility that unfortunately was taken from the wild by people, maybe unintentionally and kept and then un unfortunately can't be released back to the wild because of imprinting. Right. I think I think uh, Allison told us a story. Was it 
a chipmunk or something or a, a raccoon where somebody baby raccoon they brought it in and we're raising it as a pet until it became what raccoons do which is destroy stuff right yes yes we actually have four of those guys out there so <laughs> um, unfortunately you know raccoons are so cute when they're little but then they get big and it's like a you know three-year-old as smart as a three-year-old um, as destructive as a dog and something with hands so it can be pretty destructive into your house you know a lot of humans are cute when they're little but uh, <laughs> turn out to be not not so fun at some point. <laughs> I do too, actually. <laughs> anyway, okay. And um, and so it turns out we have a little bit of history. People ask me a lot. Um, of course, I'm a dentist. It's a dental-based show, and yet it doesn't really have to have anything to do with dentistry because it's the reasons we smile. And um, uh, a lot of things make us smile. And obviously, my wife and I love watching wildlife you know, interact with each other. But then you told me a story when you came in that um, apparently I've, I've fixed one of your teeth. Tell me the story. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so back in college, um, I'm not very tall, and um, I had a filing cabinet. And I was working at, at The Ohio State University in the physical facilities department, and I had a filing cabinet, and the top drawer was out. And a really quick sneeze happened to me, and I broke my front tooth off, and you were so kind to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really neat to know. So, so your head went forward and hit the corner of the, yes, of the drawer. Yes, yes. Yeah. I might be considered a little bit accident prone. So <laughs> Usually when people break their front teeth is when they're 9 or 10 because they're just being chased by their sister or their brother. But I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad that it's still fixed. And uh, that is really neat. We uh, It's a small world, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Because it was funny um, when we had uh, got the notice that you wanted to come out and, and visit with us. I was like, I know Dr. Kavitko, <laughs> actually. I, I'm wearing some of his work right here. <laughs> That's really neat. That's really neat. We we'll have to get a picture to prove that it still looks nice. <laughs> All right, so how was the center founded and, and how long ago and why? Yeah, so Dr. Burton was actually a veterinarian here in Central Ohio. And back in the 80s, there wasn't really anywhere for people to take injured, orphaned, or diseased wildlife. And so he decided uh, he had a passion for wildlife, um, both domestics and wildlife. And so he worked on wildlife kind of on the side. And um, the Division of Wildlife brought him a injured shot goose. And so he fixed this goose and released it back to the wild. And so that was kind of the whole start of the Ohio Wildlife Center. And that was back in 1984. Wow, it's that recent. Yeah, yeah. This is a really neat uh, hidden gem. And you guys would like more people to know about it, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the things about the Ohio Wildlife Center is we are like a free community service. And so we don't charge anything um, if you bring an engine animal to our emergency room hospital. But, you know, we are a donation based organization, even though our name says Ohio, we don't get state funding or tax funding. Yeah, that was a surprise to me. I guess I thought it was part of the Ohio Department of, of uh, Natural Resources. Yeah. And we get our permit. We get our permit that says that we're allowed to rehabilitate animals or educate with wild animals. But unfortunately, um, we don't see any of those tax dollars. Okay. So if somebody wants to make a donation or somebody wants to volunteer, let's, we'll mention this a couple times during the show. What would they do? They need to visit our website, ohiowildlifecenter.org. And there's a learn with us, come volunteer with us and donate to us all there on the website. Okay. And I understand it costs about $440,000 a year to keep the hospital funded. Yeah. So in 2019, um, that's been our largest year. So when I started in 2008, you know, we had about 3,800 animals come in. And last year was la our largest one. And I, it's 6,423 animals. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. And these animals are patched up and released back into the wild. Yes, absolutely. So we do everything in our power to make sure that we can get those animals released back to the wild. Oh, that's really neat. And uh, the tour that we got was, was pretty special. And I also saw that you guys have a, uh, a venue where... Uh, people can hold events yeah and have weddings all kinds of neat stuff tell me about that. oh my goodness it's a fantastic um, facility so dr. Burton um, about 20 years ago or so purchased a, a piece of property in Shawnee Hills or just north of Shawnee Hills and he wanted to make sure that he had an education center and a place where people could come and coexist and see these animals and um, we would have school groups come out of a hundred or more and it, we just didn't have a, an area for them. And so Dusty went to a, a barn talk and we rescued or rehabilitated a, a, an old barn. It's an 1891 reclaimed barn and it is just 
absolutely beautiful. And it's one of our first human built buildings. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just, it makes, it kind of ties everything in about how the landscape has changed over time in the state of Ohio and how important agriculture is to the wildlife. And then also it's a fantastic place to have weddings and parties. It just has this ambiance. And then you're also supporting a very important mission here in central Ohio. That's really neat. What size wedding could it handle? So we can handle up to 100 seated guests. 100 seated guests. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So some people have bigger wedding, they may not be able to use that facility. Yeah. But yeah. if you have a smaller wedding, 100 people or less, that will save your parents some money. <laughs> and you have a really neat venue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's really neat. So uh, I think she showed me that it was a 1890 Barnwood. Yes. I mean, and you can see hand hewn, the pillars in there are hand hewn. And it was, I mean, it was a fantastic and fascinating process to actually see the barn um, pillars had to rest for six months after they were taken down. And it really? was just an amazing kind of, you know, watching them reconstruct this barn. Wow. That's interesting. I'm surprised they'd have to rest. They would have been resting a bunch of years. <laughs> exactly. But anyway. Okay, I think it's probably time for us to do Dr. Kvitko's question of the day. Before we do, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kvitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kvitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kvitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. All right. Now, which of the following is not the mission of the Ohio Wildlife Center? A, to save as many wildlife as possible by helping them heal so they can be reintroduced into the wild. B, to teach people to respect wildlife by respecting their habitat. C, teach people how they can provide suitable artificial habitats, such as birdhouses and bat houses. Or D, to make pets out of as many wildlife as possible. All right, which one is not part of the mission of the Ohio Wildlife Center? All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko! I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavico and Associates today. 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay. 
Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. I'm looking over at the, my producer. I don't think we have a winner yet, so we're going to leave the phone lines open. It's 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. Which, which is not um, part of the mission of the Ohio Wildlife Center. And uh, uh, one of the things we mentioned that was not was uh, making pets out of these wildlife. They don't want to do that. So anyway, that would be D. <clears throat> but... I'm going to wait for somebody to uh, get the sand out of their eyes. By the way, Punxsutawney Phil did not see his shadow, so we're going to have an early spring. <clears throat> so you can wipe the sand man out of your eyes and uh, call. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kvitko. This is episode 629 of The Reasons We Smile. In the studio with me is Stormy Gibson, and she is the... Uh, director of Education and Assistant Executive Director. So you assist Dusty Lombardi. I do. I do. And it's a recent promotion. Wow. And so it was you know, very much an honor because, uh, you know, I've been with the organization for 12 years. And so it's kind of like family to me. Yeah. No, that's really neat. And it's really neat what you guys do. And um, you have programming and we want people to know about it. We want them to know how to get there, when to get there, when is it, when is it appropriate. So tell me about some of the programming. Maybe I know you have a big fundraiser coming up. Tell me about that. So we have a, our largest fundraiser and it's called Wild Night for Wildlife. And that helps to support and raise funds for operating our free community wildlife hospital. And it's coming up on April the 2nd. And so uh, there are availabilities for uh, table purchases. And if you have silent auction items, we're always looking for those kinds of things to help uh, fund our hospital. And it's right in the barn. Um, actually, we no? it's been so big. You outgrew the barn. We outgrew the barn. And so we actually have it in, with one of our partners that we really, really rely on is the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. And oh. so they are really supportive of our organization and our conservation efforts here locally in Ohio. Okay. So it's at the zoo. It's at the zoo. And one of the, one of the venues they have. Yeah. It's actually, I think they used to call it the pavilion, but now it's has a, a different name, but it's right as you walk into the, um, uh, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium right across from the main uh, pond area. Oh, okay. Okay. Really neat. And so you, tend to raise most of your money at that event? Yeah, so that's a, one of our largest fundraisers, but we have other fundraisers um, throughout the year. We are having a Valentine's Day event. It is sold out, so mm. uh, there's no tickets to purchase, but um, we often talk about you know animals and how they fall in love or how we love animals. And then we also are gonna, we usually have um, um, a Halloween event and a holiday event. So you just have to check out um, some of those other items and, and come on over to our website and see what we have coming up in the future. Awesome. Now you take animals to the kids, to schools. Absolutely. And so tell me a little bit about that. So we have both um, on site. That means that they come to us and we also have outreach, which we go to the schools and, and do education programming. And it's one of the most rewarding things that I do because these kids are, are oftentimes afraid of their local wildlife. Or if I ask like, what's an endangered animal? They always think of like the large animals like tigers or lions. And we have endangered species right here in Ohio. So I talked to them about how they can do things to help the environment right here in Ohio. Okay. Do you encourage kids? I know I was at COSI. They have this thing called COSI After Dark and they, uh, they had a uh, vendor set up and the vendor, one vendor was teaching you how to build bat boxes, for example. Oh, absolutely. So we do so many um, supportive things that the kids can take home. So we teach them how to do bat boxes. We've done owl houses, uh, bird houses, uh, bluebird boxes. Uh, we also ha uh, show them how to do um, bird feeders out of like um, recycled um like water bottles so mm. um, you can reuse those items rather than just throw them in the trash. So there's something about being a kid. I don't know if you were like this when you were little, but when you're a kid and you see like a spider or something, you just want to smash it. And then when you get older, it's like, let me just pick him up and put him outside. <laughs> I wonder when that occurs. At what age does that happen? Well, we try to make... Um, the campers and students that come to us appreciate it even when they're young. Younger, yeah. And so um, I don't know when that clicks. And some, for some people, unfortunately, it never clicks and yeah. they still want to squish the spider. Yeah. That's actually eating the bugs that might harm you. Right. <laughs> right. I don't know what it is. But anyway, we need to respect wildlife and, and uh, protect their habitat and take care of them. And the stories that I heard about some of the animals that were brought in, like a bird that had been struck by a car 
but it must have been cold but not freezing yet maybe you can tell it better yes so yeah. we have a great horned owl his yeah. name is alex the great horned oh, owl alex the great. <laughs> That's cute. and um we you know we have so many kind citizens i mean over three thousand people here in central ohio bring animals to us and they were driving by and there was it wasn't snowing but it was frozen and they saw this animal they turned around and he was actually kind of stuck to the side of the road yeah. and so they they braved a great horned owl hmm. and brought him to our wildlife hospital and we tried to fix his his collarbone in order to release him back to the wild but unfortunately the break was too severe to allow him to have continued flight and so now he's an education ambassador here um, to talk about like you know great horned owls and how they're the tiger of the woods mm -hmm. okay <laughs> well that's really neat so they were he was frozen to the water yeah the, the wing the, yeah and they they got him freed up and brought him in and yeah so now he's gonna have a nice long life and he'll teach a lot of children oh absolutely absolutely awesome. let's go to a break and we come back, I want to hear some more of those kind of stories, okay? Absolutely. Thank All you. All right. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am, die just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a faithful cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kawiko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Rigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> Okay, we're back. We're with Stormy Gibson of the Ohio Wildlife Center. She's been giving us uh, some stories about the Ohio Wildlife Center. And also, there's this other uh, function, and it's actually kind of what we would consider a social enterprise, right? Absolutely. Where yep. you're a nonprofit, but you have figured out a way to earn a little bit of income. And tell me about it. So we offer services um, that if you have animals getting into your home, um, in your attic, under your in your uh, shed or under your deck, we have a business or a social enterprise called SCRAM. And SCRAM stands for Suburban Commercial Residential Animal Management. And so that organization actually works biologically with the wildlife um, because we're not like a traditional trapping company. We don't trap that animal and um, remove it. We actually fix the hole where the house, like in your house. So it's not the issue with the wildlife, it's the issue with the home. So we're fixing that issue. You have to make sure the wildlife is out of the home before you plug the hole, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't want to stick anybody in the, in the attic. <laughs> but you do that more humanely or you do that more naturally. Yes. And so traditional trapping companies, um, according to state law, have to take those animals if they are certain species and euthanize them. And that's not um, according to our mission because we right. want to teach coexistence. And I don't think people realize that. They think they're going to trap them and take them out into the wilderness somewhere and let them go. But... State law says they're not allowed to. They won't tell you that, but that's what they do. So if you want to be humane about the way you rid your home or barn or garage of an animal, you need to call SCRAM. Is there a phone number? Yeah, uh, the SCRAM's phone number. You can also go to our website too, but the SCRAM's phone number is 614-763-0696. 0696, 763-0696. Yes. Okay, and then you can be... Uh, sure that they will come and do the right thing for you and for the animal at the same time and it's probably priced very similarly or maybe even a little less than the commercial 
companies out there. Yeah, because we fix one hole versus uh, charging you per animal that they might trap. So. Oh, yeah. And I've, I've actually had, had uh, I hate to say it, but I've had an association with those other companies I did not know about Scram. So I will call Scram next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can make sure of that. Okay. And so um, if somebody wants to be a volunteer. What do they do? Um, so they can go to our website and there, um, no test. No, kind there's no test. no test. And we take, um, anyone, um, for volunteering. We have so many people from so many different backgrounds. As long as you have a passion and a love for wildlife, um, we teach you everything that you need to learn. Um, our organization depends on volunteers. Um, we sometimes have anywhere between 220 to 280 volunteers at a time. Wow. And they are so critical. Like we can't say thank you enough to them because they give about 18,000 thousand hours every year to our organization and so you can apply online and we have training sessions um, twice a month wow you know this seems like you guys have so much love in your heart for wildlife and um, I noticed that uh, in the case of Allison I noticed her email address had a different last name than her her the name she told me which means she must have just gotten married I wonder how she found enough love inside for her husband too <laughs> It just seemed like that you're so dedicated, you know? Right, right. That, And, you know, everyone who is uh, within our organization so passionate about, you know, um, animals and then also about educating um, the community as well. Right. Okay. So, you know, you're doing something good when you, every morning when you get up and you go to, quote, work. It's not really work, is it? It's not really work for me. It's, it's you know, it's my lifestyle. I, I live it every day and, and I love it. Wow, that's really neat. Do you have a favorite animal? Oh, goodness. Um, I love all of them, but I have a couple. I, I usually lo like and love the unloved. And so we have <laughs> two We have two vultures. Okay. And um, I just am smitten with both of them. They are just amazing um, animals. Are they the ones making all the noise? No, those, those are, are our crows. crows. The crows make yeah, all the those noise. are our girl crows. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so it looks like we only have a couple of minutes. Um, I'll go ahead and give us the... Website information, contact information again, because I want it to be fresh in people's mind. Absolutely. Our website is OhioWildlifeCenter.org, and our um, social media person would be mad at me if they didn't say follow us on Facebook <laughs> and like us on um, and Instagram, and That's so right. uh, make sure that you find us that way as well. Awesome. So, folks, uh, this is really neat. We have the zoo, we have the wilds, and we have the Ohio Wildlife Center, and um, it's almost like seeing the animals in the raw so to speak right because right. they're um you guys don't have the funds to build these elaborate everything and so you can just kind of see see what they do out there it's really great okay well as we uh, as we said we were just about out of time so let me just do the follow-up or the, uh, the the stuff we do at the end which is we mentioned your website let's remind people about mine it's don't forget to follow me on twitter it's <laughs> dr kvitko go to my office facebook page and like us it's dr kvitko and associates Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. 262-9588 or send an email to speaking at 